This may look like a holiday in Western Australia's Abrolhos Islands, but these retirees are taking in everything but the scenery. There's still plenty here. Oh, they've all got to be cleaned up like this, Barney. These men, ranging from plastic surgeons to board members, come here once a year to collect reams of rubbish left behind from fishermen and tourists over decades. We've probably picked up 15, 18 bags, but right here, ahead of us, up here, there's probably two or three bags in the next 200 metres, and the island goes for another four miles. Last year, they bumped into the CSIRO's Denise Hardesty, who was nearing the end of a two-year survey of the entire continent, measuring the impact of plastics and rubbish on sea life. She estimates there's 150 million pieces of debris and that it's likely to be killing thousands of marine animals. I have found over 200 pieces of plastic in a single bird. I found everything from a glow stick that's about this big that we use, you know, that is used by fishermen, to three or four balloons and all sorts of pieces of plastic in birds. No matter how remote you are, how close you are to an urban city, we leave our litter everywhere. Denise Hardesty is hoping to develop a national framework to assess which species are particularly at risk from marine rubbish. There we are. On the Abrolhos Islands, the retirees are hoping their work inspires others. What I'd like to see is other people take up the cause, as it were, and say, all right, yes, we can do a little bit. And it doesn't matter whether they take back one bag, five or 50. It's making a contribution. And given John Hanrahan is likely to sell his boat, his days of carrying the rubbish may be coming to an end. Jake Sturmer, ABC News.